Hi you guys, it's Marielle. Welcome to our Wisdom Wednesday today. I'm super excited to uh, be here with you guys today because today we're talking about how to heal your visibility fears. And let's be honest, you know, I, I see it all the time. I hear it constantly um, in my mastermind. Oh, I don't wanna, I, I wanna do videos. I wanna do posts. I want to be visible. I want to spread my message, but I don't want to do it on my on my personal profile, and um, and it's so normal. And I and I get it because listen, I used to get migraines just thinking about it. So I totally understand how you feel. So if you're joining me live, I'm super excited. Just. Drop me a comment that you're here. I see Kristen and Beatriz and Katie. Hey guys! Let's get started. So today we are talking about how to heal your visibility fears, okay? So this is for you if you get all flustered and anxious and jittery when somebody tells you, if you wanna be successful, you have to start posting on your personal profile. Okay, so if you've ever heard that and um, and you're like, oh God, no, or if um, or if you've ever tried or you just feel weird about posting on there, well, that's because you have some visibility blocks. Okay, the other uh, thing is if you know if you love watching videos and you see other people in your market doing it and you wanna do it yourself, but just something is holding you back from really showing up and using video, then you have some visibility blocks, right? Um, and, and you know what? It's, I'll, I'll go over a little bit more of why it's so important, especially video, why it's so powerful, right? But it's so important to, to work on our visibility blocks because if you are looking, if, if you aspire to run masterminds or create more impact with your, in your market, if you want to maybe run retreats, if you want to speak, if you want to be a speaker and get paid for that, um, if you want to stop, if you want to go from coaching one-on-one -on -one to coaching one-to-many, and create group programs, you have to be visible, right? If you wanna create a, an online coaching program, you have to get visible, all right? So the only type of people that don't need to get visible are the ones that want to stay working one-on-one, -on -one, face to face in person. And you just have a long line of clients waiting for you because uh, you've been in the business, in, a, in your sector for a really long time. Those are the only types of transformational coaches out there. And let me tell you, they are freaking exhausted. They are traveling two to four hours a day commuting not right now not in quarantine but usually a lot of them I have friends who uh, travel back and forth and you know miss out on doing things that they really want to do because they're stuck they feel stuck like they have to do this the, their transformation one-on-one -on -one. and uh, the thing is nothing could be further from the truth because nowadays you really can do it all from home i work 100 percent from wherever I, it is i am so whether i'm in my home home or i'm at the beach or i'm traveling or i'm going to see my parents down down in houston wherever it is i all i need is a secure connection um wi-fi my phone and that's it and, and, and that's so cool, right? Because it gives you a ton of freedom. And, um, and if, you, if you learn how to do it correctly, you can make a lot of money. If you learn how to do it correctly, you can make a lot of money. So that's why being visible is not something that you should uh, feel like you have an option to do it or not. You have to get visible because there is no, there's no reward for for any someone when when they don't get the sale, right? And how are you going to get a sale if they if people don't know that you're there? All right. So um, so let's talk about why people have such visibility blocks. All right. So some of you really have a lot of stories and you want to tell these stories, but some of the stories that you have, you're like, Ooh, I don't know if I should tell that story. I don't know if that story is too deep or, I mean, I have stories like that. Let me tell you. Um, I don't have, I don't, I, I don't know what stories I should pick. How should I organize them? What do my people, what's too much? What's too little? Um, 
Some of you have uh, major visibility blocks because you know too much. Let's be honest. You have been busy learning for a really long time. Transformational leaders are people who love to learn and people who love to read. And one of the way that re one of the ways that resistance um, gets its claws in us is is by us keeping ourselves in learning mode. We're always learning instead of earning, right? So you keep yourself busy learning or you have so much knowledge, but it's so unorganized in your head so you don't know what to talk about, right? So, um, and I always say, and, and, and I talk about this in depth in, the ma in my mastermind, in my programs, you know, we go over exactly how we design entirely your signature system what that's going to look like what we organize your wisdom your expertise your skills the ones that can be sold because not all your skills are meant to be sold not all your expertise not all of um your wisdom is meant to be sold some of it is meant to be sold and some of it is meant to be a hobby so what we do is we organize that right but when when you have a signature system when your when your information knowledge skills all get synthesized into this beautiful recipe that belongs to you girlfriend you show up and talk about it why because you have it because you're organized your brain is uh is functioning correctly let me tell you i am a very unorganized person by nature and in order to succeed in doing what i'm doing i have had to create systems i have had to create client acquisition systems and processes and i teach my clients how to do that because it's they, they don't they're not common sense okay but um and katie says that's me yeah so so one of the biggest reasons that people don't get visible is because it's like the inform your information is all over the place and you really don't know what to share first second and third with your with your um with your audience you don't know what they want to see what they want to hear or should hear right and you know what of course you're going to feel resistance about that because let me tell you everything you should be putting out into social media should have a purpose and it should have an end game plan it should have a reason for being of course i mean sometimes i will i will share things with you that are irrelevant and just like me having fun like the other day i was on my big bertha bike you don't need to know that i have a big bertha bike but i love you guys and i love to share so so i'll share my pictures of big bertha and um and my stories right but for the most part, everything that you do in terms of your videos, your content, your posts has to be a part of a bigger plan, okay? So when you don't have that plan, of course you're gonna get you know, discouraged. Of course you're gonna feel anxiety. When you start realizing that you have, that all the pieces are, are coming together and you know what to talk about and you know when you're gonna talk about it and you're organized, then you know what, a lot of the anxiety starts melting off and, um, and you start feeling better. Now, even when you have a signature system and organized and you know what you're gonna talk about and you're getting over your perfectionist, perfectionism and all of that, even when you do have that, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're still gonna have those, uh, those dragons to slay. And why is that? Because I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that getting on social media and sharing your message is freaking safe, because it's not. It is, it, it's not. And that's why intuitively you're like, oh my God, I'm about to get judged. I am about to, uh, people are going to shame me. They're going to question me. Like, yeah, it is. It's not safe to, to be visible, right? But it is. The only thing that you have to get over is yourself. You have to, in, reinvent a new you and when i tell you that you have to reinvent a new you in order to get visible it's the truth you at least i couldn't i mean i do know some people that are just amazing at doing facebook lives and and they're just it's their naturals now i really believe that the naturals are probably three percent of the population if not more 
I am not a natural. For me, I used to get migraines. I used to get so much anxiety. I used to feel um, all kinds of stuff. And, and, and it kept me from sharing my message. And let me tell you, I am pretty passionate about what I do. I love, 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 love my, my clients. I love my programs. I love creating. And, um, and this visibility block that I had for many years kept me from, from living in my, in my truth. Thank you, Wilson. Wilson says, I'm getting a little hot here. Whoo, hot flashes. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. That's, a, that's for another conversation, you guys. Um, Wilson says, I'm a natural at it. And people say that to me all the time. And I t I'm telling you, I'm not. Like, it, it was, even if I, even if it seems like I am, and I have gotten better, because the more you do it, guess what happens? What does the law of attraction tell us? The more we do something, the more it grows, it grows, it grows. It's a snowball effect, right? But I had to recreate who I am. I had to become a whole new person in order to get visible and get good at it. That's the damn truth. And it's not as hard as you think. So I am going to share with you um, exactly what you need to do. And this is actually a, a system that, that I use all the time with myself and, uh, and teach it. And, um, and I learned and, and, and I've been, I, I've put together so many different pieces. Um, one of my favorite, favorite gurus that I love is Joe Dispenza mm -hmm. and, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza today, I actually posted something about him. And I love him because I'm really geeky and I love brain stuff and information. And maybe because I had my, uh, I had my brain tumor. And uh, when I had my brain tumor, look at me looking at my camera. Don't do this at home. <laughs> uh, when I had my brain tumor, I really went deep into like how the brain works and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to share with you a process that that's really worked for me that I, that I teach. And, um, and then... Uh, I'm going to let you take it a little further because I even created a meditation for that, but I can't teach that here because it would take me too long. So I want you to just remember one thing. A lot of you here were born to step on a freaking stage and change the world. You were born for that. And I know that. And I know you know that. And I want you to think of it this way. The world has changed and the stage has gotten larger and it's gotten more interesting and it's gotten smarter, okay? So the stage is now social media. Uh, everything is a stage, right? So the cool thing is that you can find your audience somewhere, right? So you can absolutely come into an, a social media platform and own that with the right people. And you are only, you, in order to succeed in business, you really only need a couple things. You need to have, you need to have the right offer, absolutely. You need to have the right people. You need to have the right pricing and you need to know what you're talking about, right? So if you have those things, there's a market and there's a stage for you. And chances are that it's right under your nose. Okay, so I want you to know if you're somebody who has at some point felt in your heart like you have a message to share, you have people to help, it's probably because you do. And if you have envisioned yourself walking on a stage and, and talking and, and empowering people, just know that it got a lot easier because now you don't even need to leave your house to do that. I mean, I'm in a room right now hiding from my kids. <laughs> because they're all over the place and I don't have a secure, safe little office here, right? So, so the stage got bigger and it got smarter and it is ready for you to step on it. And in order for you to get clients and actually, uh, and actually make six, a six figure income, you're gonna have to slay some dragons. And some of those dragons like I said, you know, you have to really figure out your signature system you, and, and create that, that perfect offer. You have to create a client attracting system, okay? Let me repeat that. 
You can be the best at what you do, but if you don't have a system to get clients through the door, if you don't know how to market yourself and what to say, when to say it, and for what reason, you're, you're just gonna be the best kept secret and it's still a hobby. But if you wanna be a six-figure income earner by using your expertise, from the comfort of your house, then you have to get over those gremlins, okay? You have to get over those. You have to really slay those dragons like I did. And Beatrice says, driving back home, you are a natural. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You guys love me, and I love you guys right back. But I'm not, look, I actually have a whole bunch of notes here, and let me just turn the page because I'm not a natural. And it is okay, you know, and I'm sweaty. Hi, Marcy. Hey, babe. So, um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So beyond all the stuff that has to happen behind the scenes in order for you to, to, um, to get clients, let me just tell you that one of those things that you have to do is you don't have to have a website, first of all. I mean, all my clients get a website and, you know, we help them set it up, every, everything up. But you don't need a website. You don't need to have a ton of experience. You don't need any, what you do need is you need to know how to give someone transformation with something you know. You need to have an iPhone, 100%. And what else do you need? Let me think. And you need to have confidence. You need to believe in yourself, okay? So, uh, so what I'm going to share with you here, it's basically eight steps. All right. And um, again, these eight steps, I actually learned this from Dr. Joe Dispenza. And if you ever have a chance to, to read, his, you know, read all his books, but they're very brainy and cool. I love them. Um, I think this one was called How to Lose Yourself. I forget. I'll post it here and, and you guys can go and, and order it. But it teaches you, it basically, the premise of it is that in order for you to get something new, you have to become someone new. And although that sounds like that's really, really big, um, it really is all about learning how to create new actions. And those actions happen from creating new thoughts and feeling differently and slowly becoming some someone new really it's like becoming a whole new personality i wish i had that book in front of me i'll definitely post it later so so it's really 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 important that um that you learn how to download this new personality this new uh new evolved you i could say it that way and, um, and with that, you're gonna have a whole new outlook and perspective. You know, and I didn't know, for a long time, I had one of my mentors earlier on, she always told me, she's like, Marielle, you have to ask yourself who you wanna become, and then you have to be that person every day before you actually become it. And it, came, it went in one ear and out the other. So if it's going in one ear and out the other for you right now, stop yourself because this piece is the most important piece in manifestation and in everything, really. And what I love about Dr. Joe Dispenza is that he has scientifically proven all of these things. He's, he's, uh, he's very into the quantum, quantum physics and, and that kind of thing. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, grab, you're gonna get a journal in order to do this. I would definitely take notes right now because otherwise you're gonna have to watch the replay and go through all over this. And, uh, and watch me sweat again. <laughs> okay, so, um, so definitely journal this exercise and, um, and then I am going to create, actually I already created it, this, uh, this meditation that kind of brings everything together and you can access it for free in the, um, in the Alchemy Library, okay? So the first thing that you have to do is you really have to identify the problem. All right, you have to identify the problem and give it a name, okay? So in your journal, you're gonna take a journal and you're gonna say, what, 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 what is this, you know? Um, when we actually identify a problem, we learn how to have 
power over it. We can have power over it. When we don't identify a problem or when we know we have a problem, but it just kind of stays back there and we never really write it out or speak it out loud. It's just, it's just in your subconscious and it is driving your actions unconsciously, okay? So I want you to ask yourself this question. What type of influencer, what type of influencer do I want to be in the world? What kind of influencer do I want to be in the world? I know that maybe you've asked yourself that, maybe you haven't, but it's a very specific question and it has everything to do with how do you want to be, uh, how do you want to share who you are and what you do and your message with the people that you are here to help transform, okay? So ask yourself that question and then ask yourself, what kind of person, what kind of person am I really like inside, all right? What kind of person am I really like inside? And then, so that's step one. So I want you to write that down in your journal. I want you to kind of sit down and just think to yourself, what kind of influencer do I want to be? I want to influence millions of people. I see, I see myself on all, just, I kind of just visualize this like, all my clients are all over the world and I have this belief that my clients know me. Like they, when they come across me, they know I need to work with her. And, and that's why I'm like super relaxed because it's a belief that I have. And it's so awesome because um, every time I work with someone, you know, they always tell, tell me that. And I'm like, mm-hmm, you, 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 you have that vision, right? So ask yourself, what kind of influencer do I wanna be? Do I wanna be a huge influencer? Do I wanna influence a specific niche? Do I want to be seen as, um, as a Marie Forleo? Do I want to be seen as uh, what, what, whoever your, your um, heroes are, your unsung or sung heroes? Who are they? You know, do you want to be like Oprah? Who do you want to be like? And, uh, and I want you to admit it to yourself, okay? And I also want you to admit what the problem is. So in this case, the problem can be that you you have you have visibility issues. That's the problem. All right. The next thing, the second the second uh, step here is I want you to I want you to choose an emotion that you want to unmemorize. Okay. Choose an emotion that you want to unmemorize. You're basically going to choose something that you really struggle with every day um, when putting your content out there or whenever you're creating your videos or when somebody like me in my mastermind, I tell my girl, my all my clients, all my lovely beauties, all right, girls, it's time to put your stuff out there, 30 day cha uh, video challenge. And, um, and they're like, oh my God, I have to put this out on my personal page, but I have so many people from my past you know, old boyfriends, relatives that don't believe in your your belief system and your religious or political belief system, all kinds of things that just, you know, kind of surface up and, and make you feel the anxiety that you feel. So I want you to identify what that emotion is that you want to um, unmemorize. And then I want you to, uh, I want you to write down what that keeps you from doing, okay? So what does that keep you from doing in life? Does it keep you from showing up? But I want you to even get, you can even get more specific here. I want you to think of it this way. For every 100 people that see you, okay? Let's just say one of those people set a discovery call okay and you put videos out or posts out every single day let's just say and and listen videos get a lot of views especially when you use specific tools uh that i talk a lot about in in my in, in the mastermind um you if you get one call one discovery call for every 100 views or 200 views and you do a video every single day and you close half of your calls or you close 20 percent of your discovery calls and let's just say i help people create high-end packages right a high-end package starts at two thousand dollars and up so let's just say you closed one 
out of five calls. That's $2,000. Okay, so I want you to multiply that, that $2,000 times, uh, times all those different days and how many views you got. How much money are you leaving on the table? And let me tell you guys, I love money, but I'm not about the money. For me, it's all about the transformation that I help people create. For me, it's like I love helping women slay their dragons. I love helping women make their own money. I love helping women uh, get rid of all the BS that's back there. That's what drives me. And that's why when I work with someone, I'm so, I always start with mindset because there's, you can't build, and we were talking about that today, you can't build a house or a castle on sand. You can't, you have to build it on a strong foundation. That's why, it, for me, I'm super passionate about. But let's be honest, money is important. And unless you make money, a lot of, you know, there's so many people right now out of job. Actually, tell you the truth, to be completely transparent, my significant other, no work right now. Everything's, everything's closed. So guess, guess who had to show up? Hello. And, and, and that's what it's about, you know? It's about being able to say, no problem, baby, I got this. That's what it's about, and I know that that's important to so many of you. So it's not about the money, but money is important. So ask yourself, what does this keep? What does this keep me from doing? Okay, because I want you to be aware of how how much it's costing you. The next thing I want you to think about is I want you to observe how the emotion that you picked feels in your body. So, for example, for me, when I used to struggle with getting visible, I really I felt a lot of anxiety. That's what I that that's what I I felt. And whenever I, I I was trying to put my message out there, I would get hot and jittery and and irritated. And I would sit there and be like, Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do this so I can keep going and moving forward with my day. Right. So so ask yourself, how does it feel? So you're gonna close your eyes, or you can journal this. Either way. Feel it and then write it down, okay? So one of the biggest problems is that um, that we go through life trying to not feel something, right? So we go through life trying not to, not to feel um, anxious or trying not to feel um, insecure, and we push it and we push it and we push it. And when something, when we resist something, it persists. Whatever we resist will continue to persist, okay? Um, so Kim says, is this step number three? This is step number four. So just to, just to get everyone caught up, step number one is identifying the problem. I have a visibility problem. That is my problem. That's me identifying my problem, right? The second step is choose an emotion that you want to unmemorize, all right? So the emotion, for example, for me was anxiety. And that emotion can also be, um, it can also be, be feeling insecure. And really, of course, I feel anxiety because I feel insecure and I feel frustrated because, so they're all connected, but I want you to pick one to focus on to give that, that your attention. Um, number three is what does this feeling keep me from doing? And I want you to write a list of everything it keeps you from doing. And number four is observe how the emotion actually feels in your body. How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel jittery? Does it make you feel something in the pit of your stomach? Is it making you feel irritated? I want you to let yourself just take a deep breath and feel the anxiety and just let it be. Let it be for as long as you can possibly experience it. Because you're, you're stepping up. You're saying, you know what? I, this is part of who I am. I am recognizing part of who I am instead of trying to, uh, and, and saying, and it's okay, because I, I'm in control. The anxiety is not in control, I'm in control. So that's why it's so important to, um, to recognize that feeling in your body. Step number five is how, how do I think 
when I feel this way. So what happens to you whenever you're experiencing those, that, that, uh, that entire feeling in your body? Do you feel, are, are you, um, are you thinking accurately? Do you get, do you get jealous? Do you get judgmental? What is your state of being and what are you doing with that state of being in your daily life? So what we're doing here, guys, is we are getting really specific and we are making conscious, bringing into the, into consciousness, everything that is unconscious, that everything that's in the back, because remember, you are going to learn how to be someone new. You're gonna learn how to be someone new. So in order to be someone new, you have to make conscious who you are now, all right? So that's that's the next one. And then um, the, next, the, the next question is, what is my attitude when I feel anxiety or insecure? What is my attitude? So write that down. And then the seventh, the seventh step, and this is my favorite, this is actually part of what I teach in my, in my manifestation formula. And it's something that I have done my whole life, um, really naturally, I don't know why, <laughs> but um, for me, it's, and, and I was really floored when I read this book, and I, and I realized that he was teaching this because I've done this my whole life, right? Naturally, and, and, it's declaring it to God and surrendering it. So for me, I always saw God, the universe, divine intelligence, whatever you, you, your name is for it, I always saw it as my dad. And I always saw it as like, well, of course. And, and I'm so grateful that I have an amazing father, actually. And maybe that's why I felt that, that correlation, right? But I always felt, well, I'm just gonna tell them the truth. I'm gonna tell them how I feel. And that's exactly what I want you to do. In this step, you declare how you feel, who you are. You're declaring your truth to the universe, to God, divine intelligence, you know, um, the quantum realm. You're declaring it and saying, listen, I identified this problem and this problem makes me feel, feel this emotion that I don't want to feel anymore. And I don't, that I want to, I want to feel something new because I want to create something new. But the truth is every time I show up on social media, I feel like an imposter. Why do I feel like an imposter? Because I don't feel like I've worked with enough people. And by the way, just to let you know, people, you gotta own your results. You have got to own your results. And that, that's one of the biggest problems that I see with uh, transformational leaders. You have read and know and, know and are so freaking talented, but if you don't own those results, it's hard, right, to not feel like an imposter. So you gotta own those results. So anyway, so that seventh step is declaring, declaring and building the relationship with the you. I call it building the relationship with the you in my manifestation masterclass because it's really what you're doing. When you become vulnerable enough to share with divine intelligence, this divine intelligence that created you, and you say, this is how I feel. I'm so sorry, but I don't know what to do about it. So here it is. And when I, when I do um, my meditation, the meditation I'm sharing with you guys um, in the Alchemy Library, and I'll post the link here uh, below. Um, when, I sh when I do this meditation, I literally envision myself, I, vi I envision a um, me putting lead into an envelope and handing it over. And on the other side, there's just these hands receiving it. And that's so powerful, but that's how I do it. So you have to see it how you see it, okay? And then the last and the most important step is you have to create a whole new you, a whole new idea of who you want to become instead. Okay, so you want to create who you want to become instead. And when you're meditating, it's so much easier. For me, it's easier, but you can do this also through, through journaling, right? So you can get your journal and really start asking yourself questions. What would I do? Okay, so who do I really want to become? One great tip to do this is look at movies, look at the people in history that you that you um, 
admire. Um, who are your, your heroes? Those are the people that you should be modeling. You shouldn't feel like an imposter because you are looking to other people. We're all connected. So, you know, some people have are here before you to, to actually pave that, that path for, for us, right? So who do you wanna be like? If I was this person, what would I do in this situation? If I was this, this, this new, new identity, what would I do when I, would I have a marketing strategy? What kind of website would I have? What would I look like? What would I wear? What would I say? What would I sound like? Okay. And then you keep repeating that vision, that visualization, that state of being over and over and over. And the way that I like to do it is I, I go through this meditation process where I learn how to create right here in the heart center um, all the feelings that I would feel if that were already a reality. And when you get good at this, you can create those feelings in seconds at will. It's amazing. That's magic. And, and all of a sudden, you know, you are uh, secreting all of these awesome anti-aging hormones and you're activating your immune system and you have energy and you are vibrating at a much higher frequency. Okay. So it's about repetition and the more you can rehearse being this new identity and letting go and recognizing and letting go of the old identity, the faster you are going to become that new you, do the things that you need to do to get to where you are. And the universe has no option but to match who you're becoming. You must become what you are. Does that make sense? It mu you must succeed. You must build a six-figure business. You must be, be the, inf the amazing influencer you were born to be because it is law. It's that simple. It is law. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you today. I love, love, love coming in here every Wednesday into the Selfish Society group to teach all of this amazing stuff. If you want access to that um, meditation, definitely sign up for the Alchemy Library. It's 100% free. And I am posting new stuff in there all the time because I love you guys and I want you to do amazing work in the world. And if you're ready to take your business to the next level, if you're ready to really build um, a six-figure business, be portable, profitable, and have an amazing impact in your community, and you want some hand-holding, hit me up. Let's get on a phone call. Let's create a plan. If I feel like we're a good fit, and, uh, and you know, if that works out, then I may be able to help you or I may not. And that's okay too. So um, you can go ahead and get my, my link in the info section as well. All right, guys, I love you guys. I will see you next week in next week's Wisdom Wednesday. And we're gonna talk about actually uh, some really cool ideas to get clients, all right?